I'm Lisa Birnbach. If you suffer from seasonal allergies, you may not welcome those first blossoms of spring, no matter how brutal the winter. But what can you do to minimize the allergy symptoms? With us to discuss that is Dr. Jordan Josephson, a leading ear, nose, and throat specialist in New York. He's the author of Sinus Relief Now. Allergy season. Is it one season or is every season allergy season? It can be brutal. It could be all year long, and there are allergies that are all year long, and those could be dust. They could be molds, um, cats, dogs, things along that line, horses for people that like to horseback ride. Right. And uh, they could be seasonal, uh, grasses, trees, ragweed, and those start in the early spring and go through to the late fall. Mm -hmm. But that being said, um, what can you do? One is you have to start being a detective and pinpoint what you're allergic to. Right. Um, Over-the-counter stuff like antihistamines might be a good way to get the ball rolling, and if, if your spring rolls in and you're sneezing and you're itching, and grab that antihistamine right. and maybe take one. Um, saline sprays and irrigation washes the allergens from your nose. Very, very important. Uh, you go outside, you're covered in pollen and ragweed and grass, depending on the season. Don't get into bed with your clothes or with your hair. Shower. Take your clothes off. Shower before you get into bed, because otherwise you're taking all the allergens and putting them into bed with you, and then you're sleeping in it and rolling around in it all night long. So without seeing it, you're covered with a microscopic film of this stuff? Exactly. And in certain areas of the country, people will tell you, in the morning I go out and my car is covered with pollen. So believe me, it's there. Now, if you have pets, groom the pet well. Right. Uh, make sure you shampoo the pet. The dander actually comes from not the hair of the animal, but the skin of the animal. Air purifiers are very good. Uh, keeping the windows shut. Um, washing when you come home. Why is it getting worse? Uh, global warming, temperature changes are making it worse. Um, mold, for instance, uh, usually molds all year round, but you usually see spikes in the fall when the leaves are wet and the mold grows in the leaves. Mm. And then when it gets really, really cold, it dies down a little bit. And you'll also see a spike in the summer when you're taking your wet towels and throwing them on the floor in your car, the mold's growing in the carpeting, or you're throwing wet towels on your bed, or you're throwing wet towels, so don't do that. Do you recommend uh, using hypoallergenic bedding? Absolutely. I, I think they're great. Uh, bedding and also bed coverings. Now, uh, how severe can seasonal allergies be? My son really suffers greatly in the spring. His eyes just get red, itchy, and runny. We coined the term CADE, Chronic Airway Digestive Inflammatory Disease. In my book, Sinus Relief Now, we talk about it, how sinus problems, allergies, asthma, snoring, sleep apnea, and gastroesophageal reflux are connected. So. It's not just one problem, Right. it's your whole body. Very important to get to the right person, uh, the right uh, group of physicians, and it should be a team to try to resolve your allergies. First, take allergy testing, find out what you're allergic to. Um, if it's a food, you may want to do an elimination diet, and there's certain things they could do with foods to figure out what foods you're allergic to. Mm -hmm. uh, take uh, food testing, and they also have environmental testing. What about the burgeoning peanut allergy? We don't know exactly why people are more allergic to peanut butter or, or peanut oil. It's actually the oils. And that's why you can't bring peanut butter, your kid can't bring peanut butter when they might be another kid allergic because the oils are like cat dander. Cat dander flies everywhere um, and it lasts for a very long time. But the peanut oil itself uh, is a problem. We think it has to do with people and the way their immunities are building. And unfortunately, back to the cough cold type of things that we're talking about, some people believe that the earlier children become exposed to various things, the sooner they'll build up a resistance to right. them and they'll be able to tolerate them better. Lactose, for example. Well, the allergy to milk is to the proteins in the milk. Mm -hmm. and that's more common today than it was years ago. Is suffering from seasonal allergies something that will happen to someone for their whole lives, or is there any way that this can change? Well, first of all, if you take allergy shots, uh, and allergy shots have been getting better and better every decade as we go on. So I have patients that come and say, well, I took allergy shots 20 years ago when I was a child, and it really didn't work. Well, we now have newer extracts, um, better resolution with these extracts. So I would say try it again. Uh, if your allergist feels that you're somebody that would do well with allergy shots. Thank you so much. And I guess people should be just try to enjoy the spring. 
Well, it's nice to smell the flowers and it's nice to be out there. If you're having a problem with your allergies, you need to take care of them. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Josephson. I'm Lisa Birnbach.